What's going on guys, my name's Matt. I'm going to be automating your fitness business for you. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go through how to actually automate your training program delivery. Now this is kind of a bit outlandish, so pay attention and I'm gonna to have to talk in concepts a little bit um, because there's a bunch of ways you can do this. So uh, buckle up, listen in, and I'm going to do the best I can to describe how to do this without using any custom code. So a couple of things, we're gonna need Go High Level um, and your coaching platform. So if you deliver on Google Sheets, which I'm gonna be doing this example in, fantastic view. Um, this also works for Trainerize um, and potentially some other coaching platforms, but these are the main ones. So first and foremost, we're gonna need a couple of things. I'm gonna go through um, the absolute basics uh, from start to finish. So uh, I'm gonna assume you already have Go High Level set up and you know we, we can kind of move past that. Uh, but we're gonna go from like client just signed up, um, time to start onboarding. So a couple of things that we are going to need before we even begin is a uh, onboarding form. So I'm going to go through and just create a really basic form um, and kind of walk you through my thought process when it comes to this. So let's get a form open from scratch and wait for it to load. Now, a couple of things that you should take into account with this is this can be like your basic start point and then you improve the program from there because you don't want to just templify your entire training um, unless it's like group training or whatever. You want it to be, you know, still customized to the person. So things you need to take into account is the customization post um, training plan. But this can save you a bunch of time, you know, creating files, all that kind of stuff. So um, let's jump in and call this uh, fitness onboarding. And for the sake of the um, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to go through and do an entire fitness onboarding, which is, would have a lot of information on it. Uh, I'm just going to do with the basic information that I need. So for this, I need first name, email, uh, how many days they want to train per week, and what kind of training program they would like. So again, you can pull this information in your onboarding um, program based on goals. If you know if you have a specific training method for goals, you can do that. But in this situation, I'm just going to do like full body. Um, as the option and uh, I'm gonna do like days per week as the variable. So what we're gonna to need to do inside our form, we're gonna get rid of phone because I don't want that either. And we are just going to go through and add in some custom variables. So first thing we're gonna do is press the plus on the left hand side and type in and click custom fields. We're gonna hit add and then we're going to uh, go through for uh, radio select. So. I'm going to just call this days in the gym and group doesn't really matter, but we'll just put it on contact and we're gonna go three, four, and then option five, and we're gonna press save. So what this, is, what this does, it's gonna give us our, how many days they wanna train in the gym. So if we have a look here and we click and drag across days in the gym, three, four, five, fantastic. And we're gonna add in another custom field, which is gonna be like, what kind of uh, workout would you like? So. I'm gonna do the same thing for radio select and it's gonna be what kind of workout would you like? And again, it's gonna be contact. This is gonna be full body. And then this is gonna say upper, lower legs. Again, I'm keeping this really simple just so I can get through this video without taking you know half an hour. Uh, but I just wanna show what the kind of capability of this is because it's insane. Um, and let's add in our what kind of workout would you like to do? And that's pretty much it for our basic version of this, right? So you can customize this to no end. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do myself a favor and keep this shorter. So uh, once we've got our form, which is great, we're just gonna leave it as button, fitness onboarding, fantastic. So what I'm going to do, if you click on integrate at the top right hand corner here, uh, you can actually get a form link so you don't have to actually put this on a website to test anything. Um, you can just open a new tab and then click on form link. And this should populate as per normal. So I'm just gonna put this here for later because we're not gonna need it right now. Um, Cause I will go through the setup and the troubleshooting of things. Uh, naturally I'm gonna come across a few. So uh, we've got that information. We've got the form. We are now going to need a automation. So we're gonna use a combination. I should have mentioned at the start, GHL and Zapier. Um, I wish you could do uh, the entire thing inside GHL, which I might try to, but um, at this current standpoint with it, the way that I'm thinking, it's just gonna be Google Drive. Um, sorry, Google Drive that's gonna be manipulated by Zapier. So 
First things first, open up a um, automation <laughs> workflow. And we're gonna create a new workflow and we're gonna need to start from scratch. And I'm gonna call this one YouTube example. Oh. And cool. So as for our trigger, it's very self-explanatory. We're going to use our form, which is our form submitted. And the form is our fitness onboarding. So save trigger. And then the first step that we're going to do is a Google Sheets lookup step. Now, what this is going to do, it's gonna take the answers from their form, it's gonna search the Google Sheet that I have, and it's going to give us essentially that row, right? We can return anything in that row. One thing I will mention is you need a you need to set up one of these. So I'm going to show you now, and I've already done it just to save a bit of time. It's called a coaching dictionary. Well, I've coined it a coaching dictionary. I don't know if that's a, a thing, but um, what it has is the program types, the days, and the training program ID. So if we look here, we've got full body. I'm going to go uh, push, pull, legs for another example, and three, and then if I just drag this down real quick, should give us the information we are wanting. Cool, five. So you can have all of your programs listed here, right? Fancy stuff. And then if you have a training program ID, uh, you can then assign based off that. Now that training program ID could be like a, it could just be returning the link to your template, right? And when you have the link to the template inside Zapier, we can clone the, t the template essentially. So let's just have, a, let's just chill here for a minute with an example. Um, I've got some examples here. If I can, can I copy this URL really quickly? Share copy link, yeah, cool. And then I'm just gonna bang it in here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing for these two. Um, bear with me with this because it is gonna be like, if you can see the potential in this video, um, you will understand that it's worth watching me faff around for a second. Um, because when you scale this to, you know, 50, 60, 70 different training programs, you can get a hyper-personalized experience um, very, very quickly. So we've got our, um, our links, fantastic. And we are going to go back into the automation. So what we are first going to do, as I said before, is have a Google Sheets step. So Google Sheets, um, we're gonna search for the form. Now, if I can't do this all inside uh, Google Drive, uh, sorry, inside Go High Level, I will just send this webhook straight to Zapier um, and do the whole thing in there because I know for a fact you can do it in there. However, you can do you can do parts of it inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up spreadsheet row in the account that I have and the drive is my drive and then the uh, sheet is coaching dictionary and the worksheet is worksheet one search from top of the sheet. Now their lookup column is going to be program type and the value that we're going to be looking up is the uh, custom value from the form that we submitted. So what we are going to type in first is uh, program, is it gonna be in here? Because it's gonna be nice and fresh. Custom values, is it gonna be in here? Maybe not, cool. What I'm gonna to need to do is just put through a really example, Matthew, and let's go this, five days in the gym, full body button. Submit it. Cool, now if we just save this and refresh, hopefully it gives us our information. So we'll just cancel this and refresh. Again, this is just a little bit of troubleshooting that you'll, as I said, you'll naturally come um, come across and I, I sometimes think it's good to keep this kind of stuff in a video so I'll talk about you know what issues I experience how to overcome them because that's something that a lot of people don't really do um, and they kind of cut that out because it looks unprofessional but I think it's actually really beneficial for you guys to see this so what we're going to do is go back to look up spreadsheet row Matthew cool spreadsheet is coaching dictionary and the worksheet is just sheet one. Search from top of the sheet. Column we're gonna search first is the program type. And then our custom value is going to be contact and custom fields. And it will be in here somewhere. 
uh, here we go, what kind of workout would you like? And we are going to just select that there, right? Our secondary column we're gonna look up is days and the value is going to be contact and custom fields and we are going to say how many days you wanna train in the gym, what did I call it? Days in the gym, here we go, cool. So case sensitive for us right now, it doesn't really matter uh, and we don't wanna create a new spreadsheet row if it doesn't exist. So I'm just gonna save this and let's see if we can run a test workflow and see if it actually works. So if we go um, this test example that I have here and we can check the enrollment history to see if it actually ran, fantastic. So it actually has put me through the test and if we look at the execution history, uh, we obviously see we've got a fail. So no match found for your requested values. And there can be a couple of reasons this happened. You know, like maybe I um, put in the wrong information or um, it just didn't search the right way, <laughs> right? And it didn't, like, it didn't like my inputs. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, create a output tracker. So unfortunately, the Go High Level um, the Go High Level, uh, what's it called? <sighs> Automation Builder doesn't have an easy way to test these kind of things, and I would imagine they would do it soon. Um, but you know, it would be beneficial if they had it. So, what I'm going to do is just go testing, and what I'm going to do is update this uh, cell with the information that is going to be coming across from that test. So, if we go into here, and I'm just going to duplicate this. Actually, no, I'm gonna go update um, spreadsheet row. So Google Sheet, select an action, and I'm gonna say create spreadsheet row in the same um, drive that we are going to be going to up, uh, look for. In worksheet is testing, and selected column is testing A, and selected column is testing A. So with this um, automation builder, you gotta specify which columns you actually wanna update. So inside testing, I'm just gonna put in the two uh, custom fields that we were trying to test before. So if we have a look here and we say, what kind of workout would you like? And then if we put in how many days as well. So if I type in days, will it come up? Yeah, days in the gym, fantastic. Save action, save. And also what we're gonna to need to do whilst we are testing, we need to turn on re-entry. It's already on by default now. I think that's new. So Great to know, um, but let's run this again with info at mattlamborn.com. So give this a second, and if we open up Coaching Dictionary, you're gonna see it actually has full body five, right? So when it comes to um, this kind of build, if you wanna keep this part inside of GHL and not you know, take it off to Zapier, then here's how you can do it. So instead of looking up for two different uh, sheets, I'm going to just change this coaching dictionary to uh, full body three, full body four, and oops, uh, full body five, right? And now what it's gonna do, is we're just gonna search for these two, this string concatenated across the two. If you don't know what concatenate means, uh, it's a programming term, I'm pretty sure. That's where it comes from. It means like take one string of characters, so, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then add on another string of characters, which is like one, two, three, four. So it would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five. Very simple. Um, so we're gonna look up this spreadsheet and program type is gonna be what kind of workout do you like? And it's gonna be then space. And we click on custom values again. If we type in days, it'll give us days in the gym. So right now it's going to spit out what we just tested. We're gonna save action and Save again, we go test workflow, me again, run test, All right? Fantastic, let's see if it worked. Should be a third time, processing step, which is usually good, because if it's processing, it doesn't imply that it has failed. <laughs> so we'll give it a second, and we'll take a look to see if it has succeeded. So, um, created a new row, that's good. 
this part is still processing. So it might take a second, it may error out. So if it does, then that's fine. Um, I'll show you just how to do it on uh, Zapier instead so you still get your money's worth by watching this video. So obviously it outputted what we wanted to again. Uh, let's just refresh this uh, page so we can get a bit of information out of it. But basically, if you wanted to do this inside of uh, GHL and then send the information to Zapier, um, it's gonna be a bit easier, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, you can be, it, the Zapier Automation Builder is a little bit more forgiving. So this is obviously stuck at the waiting step. Um, so I'm gonna move on, and I'm going to show you the next phase of it, um, doing the part in Zapier. So if we have a look here, uh, we've got our next step is gonna be a webhook. Now, basically a webhook is just a way uh, of information being passed around the internet, right? So you have like a, um, an origin and a destination and just say we were passing our string for before, which was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, and we wanted that sent to a different place on the internet, um, we can pass that through a webhook and that's gonna be a post method because we're posting it across. Um, there is also a get method, which essentially brings it back. So you say, is my A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five currently present in the, the endpoint? And it will bring back yes or no if it is. Really bastardized version of, <laughs> of webhooks. So inside Zapier, I've got one of my accounts here that I just used for some testing. And I'm going to run through how to set this up. So we've got a new Zap. Um, I'm not gonna use the AI generator. It is what it is. Zapier's just got a brand new look, by the way, literally today, so bear with me if I'm a little bit, um, if I'm losing things or whatever. Uh, so our first action is going to be a webhook. So we're going to catch a hook, because GHL is gonna be sending information, Zapier's gonna catch it. Press continue, press continue again and it's gonna take a second to load, then it's gonna give us this URL, right? This URL is just the identifying factor of where the location is. So that's where we're gonna tell GHL to send things to. So we go back into GHL, we've got the webhook uh, option already open. If I didn't show you that properly, it's the plus, and then you type in webhook, and the method is post, because we're sending information, and then we're going to paste in our webhook data here, and we're gonna press save. By default, GHL will send all of the data that it has on the specific contact that you're working with at, um, at once, right? So you don't need to put in custom data. At this point in time, you don't need to. Fantastic. A reason why you would wanna put custom data is if you wanted to create a like training program string, which is the two, uh, uh, what's it called? The two, the two bits of information that we had before, so like training program and then days in the gym. So if we wanted to combine two things, you could do that here and send it as custom data. I'm gonna do that anyway, just, just for shits and giggles. So <laughs> I'm gonna send that across. Cool, so let's send a test so that we have something to work with. Info at mattlamborn.com. Sending the test. And now if we click test trigger, we should have a test. And we'll give it another second and it's come through. So if you see this here on the left-hand side, we've got request A, which is the information that I've requested. And it's got a bunch of information about this, um, this, this contact, right? So if we have a look, uh, we can type in even days here and it'll give me like days in the gym, five. What kind of workout would you like? Full body. So I've got that information ready to go. Um, and if we type in like, uh, Training, training, yeah, custom data, training program, full string, so full body five, right? Don't know why it's got five there twice, I might have accidentally hit it double, but that's fine. We're gonna continue with the selected record, and now we're gonna go about our business in Google Drive. So first things first, we are going to, um, I'm gonna show you how to do the lookup, uh, if you wanted to do the lookup in Google Sheets instead of uh, Go High Level. So, we are going to look up spreadsheet row and we're gonna press continue. We're gonna choose the account, make sure I have the right account. Press continue and the drive is going to be my Google Drive and the spreadsheet is coaching dictionary. Fantastic, the worksheet is sheet one. Lookup column, the first lookup column is gonna be program type 
and our lookup value is gonna be full body, right? So if you type in full body, uh, just for the sake of the build, uh, what kind of workout would you like? We can type in full body. And then supporting lookup column is going to be days, right? And then we are going to search for days in here. So it's going to search for anything, any column that has full body and then any column that has five. So if it matches both conditions, it's gonna return yes. Um, and we press continue and we can test this step. This is what I was saying before, GHL isn't very forgiving with our um, testing. So fail to find a spreadsheet in row Google Sheets, uh, click on troubleshoot. This is interesting, new AI beta troubleshoot. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, it hasn't actually given me the information that I want. So column B, full body, column A, interesting. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to change this to be the string that we had before. So if I go full body uh, string, and it's actually going to not like that because it's gonna, it's got the extra five, but if we just backspace out of this as well, um, I don't want this, I want this to be, there we go, custom. We'll just leave that for now. Continue and test step. Let's see if it will return full body five. Did not. Okay, let's just troubleshoot really quickly again. So I'm just gonna type in full body five. Continue and we'll see if this is gonna work. Nothing found in Google Sheets row. All right, so if we go coaching dictionary then sheet one, we do have full body five here. I'm gonna copy this just so I'm not going entirely insane. And it is there, look up value is full body five. Continue, retest step. Nothing could be found in the search. Why might this be the case? Program type, full body five. Uh, no, that's not a success, bottom up. Let's true, true, continue, test step. Huh, interesting. This is very interesting. Let's try, I swear this never happens. Well, it happens all the time. This stuff changes so frequently that I, you know, need to go through and and do stuff. So let's go um, look up spreadsheet rows, output as line items. Let's try this out. Sometimes it's a little bit more forgiving. So my Google Drive spreadsheet is coaching dictionary. Worksheet is testing. No, no, it's not. It's sheet one. Lookup column is program type. Lookup value is, uh, I'm just gonna do full body five just to test it out. Lookup supporting value, I'm gonna leave that blank. And row count, we're gonna set to one. And let's test this step. Fantastic. As you can see, this is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, and we've got our um, successful test that's run. So I'm gonna go back and change this to our actual data which is, you know, days in the gym, five, and then uh, it's full body. So full body space date, oh, full body space days in the gym. And let's try this again. Oh, actually it's not going to, oh no, it will work. Let's, let's see, full body five, fantastic. So what has happened here is that it's actually worked, which is like great. So sometimes this, um, this look up Google Sheets row uh, just doesn't work too well. So we're just gonna move on using what we have now. So what we have now is the name of the program that we want and the link to the program. What can we do with that? We can go to the plus sign and we go into Google Drive so not Google Sheets, but Google Drive. And we can go through and we want to create a 
um, uh, a copy of a template. So what we want to do is go, let's see if there is a copy, copy file, cool. So copy file, and if we press continue in the account, uh, it's going to make me do all this stuff, which is annoying. Allow, thank you very much. Cool. Continue. Now, the file that we are going to want to use is, oh, let's just kill that for a sec. The file we're gonna to wanna to use is the link of what we got before. Now, if you don't know, uh, this part of the Google uh, sharing link, so like 1VWUNT blah, 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 is the identifier for the actual uh, sheet. So from this here is our identifier. So what we need to do is kind of trim the fat off our link and we will be able to, um, you know, pretty much just uh, tell the Google Drive module that we want a copy of this. Now, you could go one step further and just like whenever you, you know, input a new training program, you could just like put this here instead. Um, and then for, for this one as well, you could put this here instead. Oop. This part here and copy this and put this here. So backspace, you could, you could do that. Um, for the sake of the video, I might just do the same. So if you, if the reason why I'm not gonna do it the other way where you trim the link is because using the cut and slice um, parts of Zapier, I'm just not the best with. So I just been full honest. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go back to this here and also go to here because this is the one essentially that we want. And we're going to take this URL part and put it inside our coaching dictionary. So I'm gonna delete this, put this here. Now we have our identifiers, woo, very cool. And I'm going to run this test again so that um, the updated data is inside Zapier. Holding, 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 fantastic. So we've got the um, ID here, press continue. Now we're gonna copy file in Google Drive as I said before. And one thing that I should probably mention, you should probably create like a individual file for this client to go inside. <laughs> so we might do that in a second. Um, if not do that first. Hmm. We will do that first. So Google Drive, same function. Cool. Uh, we're going to create a folder. And this is all if you're just coaching inside Google Sheets, you know. This, this is not if you're using an app, it's a lot easier if you're using an app, but if we're doing Google Sheets, parent folder, um, it's gonna put it under YouTube video, and folder name is going to be our client name. So first name is Matthew, obviously you would have the last name if you were doing this properly. First name, Matthew, and then um, info at mountlandborn.com. We'll test this step, and if we look in here, we will see Matthew at info at mountlandborn.com. Fantastic. So back to Zapier and press continue. So now we have a folder and we want to copy a file into that uh, folder that we've created. So what we are going to do is we are going to go file and then custom and we are going to tell Zapier that we already have a folder um, that we want to use. So I'm pretty sure you just need to put in title. Let me just, I will confirm that with you in a second. It may be, oh no, it's ID, silly. So we have our folder ID and file name is going to be uh, let's just call it training program, T, uh, training, oh, training program and then name Matthew and drive we're gonna share, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my marbles, it's been a long day. So file, Oh no, stupid, 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 stupid. Please pause for a second. <laughs> the file is the actual ID that we got from the Google Sheet, right? So Google Sheet here. 
Now the drive where we are going to put it is where we just created it, right? So custom, uh, create folder and drive, that part, and the ID is this one here. So that should be fine. And, oh wait, no, drive is my drive. Ugh, this is silly. I am uh, making simple mistakes. It's been a very long day. Um, and then we go custom, and then we go ID, and we scroll down, it'll be in here, cool. Just to recap on that, uh, file is the actual file we wanna clone. The training program is with the name, that's fine. In my drive, and then the folder is the, um, the folder we just created. So, if we press test step, Theoretically, it should work. We will just wait for it to run. Looks like it has succeeded. And if we go into YouTube video and open up Matthew Lamborn, we get a training program, which is just a blank sheet that I made of basically this here. Right? So from that, you have a very, 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 very simple way of um, you know, setting up templates, training templates, all that kind of stuff um, to the point where you could get hyper customized with, you know, which training program they like. Um, my goal is to do this part. So create folder in Google Drive, create file in Google Drive entirely inside Go High Level. Um, however, it just requires API calls. I didn't want to go over API calls today um, and, and more extensive webhooks. It can be done, but I'm just, you know, too long. <laughs> so... That is how you can do it. And you can run this a part of your onboarding um, automation and you, know, you can get yourself coaching this person faster than ever. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. If there's anything in particular you want me to cover, please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate comments and I will speak to you guys soon.